Hello friends and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another By Request song tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be breaking down my approach to playing the Beatles' 1965 hit song, Help. So I'm going to take you through the intro, the verse, and the chorus sections, and we're going to be using some rhythm techniques that combine the chord progression with a little bit of what you're hearing in Paul McCartney's alternating bass. You can follow along using my tablature and my chord sheet at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Support the channel there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started. Two, a one, two, three, four. Help, I need somebody. Help, not just anybody. Help, you know I need someone. Help, when I was younger, so much younger than today. I never needed anybody's help in any way. But now those days are gone and I'm not so selfish. Now I find I changed my mind. I've opened up the doors. Help me if you can. I'm feeling down. And I do appreciate you being around. Help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you please, please help me? And now my life has changed. And so many ways My independence seems To vanish in the haze But every now and then I feel so insecure I know that I just need your light i never done before Help me if you can I'm feeling down And I do appreciate You being right So much younger than today I never needed anybody's help in any way But now those days are gone And I'm not so selfish on. Now I find I've changed my mind I've opened up the doors Help me if you can I'm feeling down And I do Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with our intro section. We're in standard tuning, the key of A major. Real slow, it's gonna look and sound like this. One, two, three and four, and one and two. Okay, now jumping into measure one here, adapting this section for solo performance, we have a B power chord. Okay, I'm fretting the second fret of the A string, fourth fret D, fourth fret G string. I could start off hitting the root, or I could play the full power chord. All right, from there, I'm going to basically just strike the D string and G string together three times. So that is one and two and. Now I'm gonna separate the bass from the meat of the chord. Bass strum, that's the D string and G string. Bass strum, I switch the bass note to an open A string. You put that together and we have. All right, from there we're going on to a G major chord shape. I'm going to hit the root. And then I'm just going to strum the D string and G string by itself. Okay, so low E string third fret, zero, 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 then a walk down. Bass strum, D string and G string there, move to the second fret of the low E, followed by another strum, and then that'll get you to measure number three for an E major chord. Bass strum, 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 strum. 
Okay, you put that together and we have one and two and three and four and G and two and three and four and E and two and three and four and. Okay, from there, we're gonna get into this very cool descending riff that George Harrison plays. Very, very simple. I'm starting off on the seventh fret A string, fifth fret D string, plucking the strings. A string, D string, G string, switching to hybrid picking, and grabbing the B string. Bring the chord down one half step, then another half step, and then finally down one more half step to the fourth and second frets. Okay, repeating the same picking pattern as you go. There, we're going to the A major chord for a little bit of bass and treble separation as you start your verse. Now you put the entire intro together and we have one and two and three and four and G and two and three and four and E and two and three and four and one E and a two. Okay, great work. If you can do that, then you're ready to move into the verse section. Okay, very good, everybody. You have the intro section down. Now we're jumping into the verse section. Very simple. We're making use of an A major to C sharp minor to F sharp minor to D to G to A progression. Okay, real slow. It's going to sound like this. A one, two, three, and four, and one, and two. Four, C sharp minor, F sharp minor, and a D, G, and A major. Let's break that down. Okay, so we're arranging this for solo performance, trying to include as much of the song in our rendition as possible. We have the A major chord, and we're going to be playing bass down up, switching to the low E string, bass down up for our strumming pattern. You just need to repeat that twice to fill up a measure. One and a two and a three and a four and a... Now we're gonna do the exact same thing over a C sharp minor chord shape. Barring the fourth fret, A string to high E string, grabbing the sixth fret of the D string, sixth fret G, and the fifth fret of the B string. Grabbing the A string first, bass down up, jumping the index finger up to the low E string, bass down up. Again, repeat it twice to fill up the measure. One and a two and a three and a four and a. You put those two chords together and we have. When I was younger, so much younger than today. All right, from there, we're going on to the F sharp minor chord. We're gonna keep with this alternating bass pattern, but we're gonna reverse it, starting from the low E string this time. E down up, A down up, E down up, A down up. Okay, that'll get you to the final measure of the verse, where we're going to have a D to G to A major change. Looks and sounds like this. Okay, so pretty simple there. We had the D chord. We're gonna play the bass, the D string open, down up. Same thing on the G major chord, low E string first. And then we're gonna get a little fancy with it on the A major chord. A dead stroke, followed by an up, down, down. Okay, so. Okay, put that measure together and we have D, down, up, G, down, up, All right, now playing through the entire verse. Remember, we need to play through this progression twice through. Okay, so. When I was younger, so much younger than today. F sharp minor. I never needed anybody's help in any way. Repeat 
repeat the entire thing again. But now those days are gone, and I'm not so self-assured. Now I find I've changed my mind. I've opened up the doors. Okay, very good. If you can do that, then you're ready to move into the chorus section. Okay, great work, everybody. Thus far, you've learned the intro section. That was followed by verse number one. And then now we're moving into the chorus section. Real slow, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, and four, and help me if you can, I'm feeling down. Walk. And I do appreciate you being round. Walk. E major. really dig deep to hit that high note there as we descend down with George Harrison's riff. Okay, so that was pretty simple. Measure one, we're just taking a B minor chord shape, bar in the second fret, I've got the fourth fret D string, G string, and the third fret B string. All right, we're strumming. Bass down, down, up, down, up. Bass down, down, up, down, up. Now the next measure is gonna be similar. Bass down, down, up, down, up then a walk down. Bass, down, up, bass, down, up. Okay, now when we're doing that walk down, we could play bass, down, up, then as we move to the open A string, just leave the finger up in the air and then just focus your pick on the fretted strings, D string, G string, and B string. All right, the alternative though is to put your index finger on the second fret high E string. Okay, for a more true walk down there. All right, then we're on to a G major chord. Bass down, down, up, down, up. Bass down, down, up, down, up. On to the next measure, measure four. Bass down, down, up, down, up. And then a walk down, you know what to do. Bass down, up, bass down, up. Okay, that'll get us to line two of our chorus. But first, let's put all of line one together. Now, quick tip, if you're singing, that first note you need to hit is an E note, which you can find on the fifth fret of the B string. So, help me if you can, I'm feeling down. It's always a great trick. If you're having trouble finding the pitches, find them on the guitar first. So, help me if you can, I'm feeling down. Walk, bass, down, up, bass, down, up, to the G chord. I do appreciate you being right. Alright, now we're moving on to line two of this chorus. We just have an E major chord. Bass down, down, up, down, up, bass down, down, up, down, up. Same thing for measure two here. Alright, then you already know what to do here. George Harrison's really cool descending riff. Alright, which we've already learned by tackling the intro section. Okay, now let's put the entire chorus together, singing along with me, grabbing that E note for pitch. Here we go. Help me if you can, I'm feeling down. Bass down, up bass down. I do appreciate you being round. Bass down, up bass down. Help me get my feet back on the ground. chord strumming to jump into the next verse. Now, one last tip. If you're trying to hit that really high note, you're going to be reaching for the C sharp note, which you can find on the ninth fret of the high E string. Okay, great work, everybody. You have the intro, you have the verse and the chorus sections down. After that first chorus, we're going to go back into the second verse, which is going to be played verbatim, the same as verse one. From there, we're on to chorus two, played verbatim. And then we're on to verse number three, which is going to be the exact same chord structure. We're just going to change up the dynamics a little bit. I like to throw in just a long A chord. When I was younger, so much younger than today. Long strokes, F sharp minor. 
I never needed anybody's. And then from there, I like to go into business as usual. Help in any way. All right, then the second half of the verse, we played verbatim. All right, then finally, we're on to chorus number three to finish up the tune. It's gonna be played verbatim, except the very end, we're going to throw in an extra F sharp minor chord. So if you're starting from the E major chord, help me get my feet back on the ground. Won't you please, please help? We go into the F sharp minor chord right there. Me, help me, help me. And then resolve on the A major chord. So very simple, I just played the F sharp minor chord. Bass down, down, up, down, up, bass. All right, then a nice lush strum to finish the tune. Congratulations, everybody. You're ready to perform. All right, friends. Thanks so much for checking out this Beatles guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash swiftlessons. Hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. Thanks to you guys. I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.